Yeah, welcome to my channel. Let's quickly solve for the value of x. Welcome to JJ Online Maths Class. Okay, um, let's divide through by 9 to the power of x. So we have 1 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x. Now, when you have a to the power of m, divided by b to the power of n okay sorry m is equal to a over b raised to the power of m since they have the same power all right so let's do the same thing here so we'll now write 1 over 9 divide uh, raised to the power of x plus 3 over 9 raised to the power of x is equal to this we divide itself to give us one okay now we have one over one is same thing as one squared right and nine is same thing as three squared raised to the power of x plus now let's reduce this to its lowest term recall that three can divide nine to give us what three so when three divide itself we have one if we divide nine we have three raised to the power of x is equal to one now we can rewrite this as 1 over 3 raised to the power of 2, everything raised to the power of x, plus 1 over 3 raised to the power of x is equal to 1. Now don't say, oh, now I know I've just found my quadratic equation. Let me trust me. After this, we are still going to recall that we are going to name this something, okay? And you cannot use it to get the value of x. Like, it's not the value of x straight. All I'm trying to say is that it's not as easy as you think. You should just follow me and watch to the end and see how this plays out, okay? All right. Now, recall that when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n raised to the power of m. So the powers can be interchanged. So that is exactly what I'm going to do for this first um, term. So I will write 1 over 3 to the power of x everything squared plus 1 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now I'm going to simplify this by saying let 1 over 3 to the power of x be equal to y. Okay. Now once I made that uh, statement, I can now say this is y squared, right? So I'll have y squared plus y, right, is equal to one now i'm going to bring this in to have y squared plus y minus one is equal to zero if this is the first time you are coming across this channel please click on the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so i'll be notified anytime i upload a new video so i don't miss our amazing videos please give us a thumbs up if you actually understood or if you actually enjoying the video thank you so much now we have y squared plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So we cannot solve this using the factorization method. Rather, we are going to use the quadratic equation formula. All right? So recall that for your quadratic equation formula, your y is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Okay? Now, here our a is equal to the coefficient of y squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of y, which is 1. And our c is minus 1. Therefore, y is equal to minus b, that is minus 1, plus or minus the square root of what? b squared, that is 1 squared, minus 4ac, 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1, divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Now, our y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1. 4 times minus 1 will give us minus 4. Minus minus becomes plus, right? So we have plus 4 here. Everything divided by 2. Therefore, we have that y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Okay, now recall that we are not looking for the value of y. We are looking for the value of x, rather. So, let us go ahead and um, solve. But before that, I want to write this out. Where I said 1 over 3 to the power of x is equal to y because I'm going to need it. 
yes i know you can't see this but i just have to write it somewhere so that i can clean this now let me clean this so this is what we now have that's why is equal to minus one plus or minus the square root of what five divided by what two okay so we have that y is going to be minus one plus root five divided by two or your y is equal to minus one minus root five divided by two but when we solve this we are going to get what a negative number right so this is not going to be used since we are talking of power all right now let us concentrate on this one now recall that let me pick what i wrote here recall that our y is equal to one over three to the power of x okay so we are not going to replace this with one over three to the power of x so we have one over three to the power of x is equal to minus one plus or minus sorry we are not taking the plus <laughs> plus root five divided by two now at this point we don't have any other option than to take the um, logarithm of both sides of the equation so we are going to write that log one over three to the power of x is equal to log minus one plus root five divided by two okay now let's solve so when you have log a raised to the power of b this is equal to b multiplied by log a okay so we are going to bring down our power here which is what x so we are going to write x log one over three is equal to log let's rewrite this as root five minus one divided by two okay all right so to get the value of x we divide through by log one over three divided by log one over three now this is going to cancel this so we have that our x that our x is equal to we have this place only x is remaining is equal to log we have what square root of five minus one divided by two then when you have log a divided by log b okay this is same thing as log a base b okay as long as this is the same base with this this with this one so that means that we can use one over three as base of this log reading right so it's going to be log this base one over three and this becomes our final solution thank you so much for watching have a lovely day